Hey, how you doing, viewers? It's Brody, Bush Survival Skilled Master here. Back at you this week. Now, last week we went over how to make a solar-powered bush buggy out of a rubber tree, a candy wrapper, and a beaver dam. Some of you are asking where I found a rubber tree in Canada. Well, that's a whole other episode, so stay tuned. Now, other viewers, thank you for your comments. You've been asking to get back to the basics. Well, we're going to do that today for you. We're going to show you how to make a shelter. Now, my people, the Métis, they're voyageurs. They'll be going up and down the rivers, trading furs, weeks, months, years on end. And within a few hours, the ingenuity and a pocket knife, they had themselves a shelter because they had the skills and they had the will. That's what I say. Live, love, laugh, or die in the bush. All right? Now, the biggest thing to learn about survival and making a shelter is the acronym SITES. That's right, SITES. First of all, S for scenery. Make sure it's a picturesque location, all right? Next, intuition. If you get that feeling right there in your gut, it may be haunted. Don't go there, all right? Next, type. Is it gonna be a TP, a lean-to, or improvised? Entry is your E. You gotta get in and you gotta get out. Finally, S is for snagging. That is snag appropriate shelter. Now, camera guy, I want you to follow me and keep up this time. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Whoa, steady. Listen, in that good way. Quiet that camera down some. I hear it. Yes, yeah. an adolescent titmouse has just found a mate, all right? Now, don't forget, the bro code transcends from man to nature. So let's give them their privacy and their space. Let's be quiet as we walk away here. Camera guy, follow me and keep up. Go. All right, we got everything we need, yes or yes? Camera guy, what do you know anyway? Now I bet you thought that was sped up, uh-uh. That's Brody, eh? In double quick time. Now I'm gonna finish off this shelter right after message from our sponsor. Get back or else.